Good morning and welcome to uh, another day in Issaquah, New, uh, Washington. Uh, it's a rainy day. I'm out here in my rain gear. The rain is falling. It's living up to the stereotypes of the Pacific Northwest. I'm here uh, standing where this trail runs. It runs actually down an old railroad bed. We're familiar with those uh, from uh, Indiana. And uh, this trail runs right past my uh, cousin's house. But I like this sign. The hike begins here. Hikes begin here. And I was thinking about that and where does Jesus' ministry start and where do we begin looking at? Well, Scripture tells us that it starts uh, when he comes to be baptized and he goes to be tempted. Uh, but his public proclamation uh, is in the uh, Gospel of Luke, comes in the fourth chapter. It says, starting with verse 14, Then Jesus returned to Galilee, filled with the Holy Spirit's power. Reports about him spread quickly through the whole region. He taught regularly in the synagogues and was praised by everyone. When he came to the village of Nazareth, his boyhood home, he went as usual to the synagogue on the Sabbath and stood up to read the scriptures. The scroll of Isaiah was handed to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it is written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released, that the blind will see, that the oppressed will be set free. The time of the Lord's favor has come. He rolled up the scroll and handed it back to the attendant and sat down. All eyes on the synagogue looked at him intently, and he began to speak to them. The scripture you've just heard has been fulfilled this very day. Now this passage that he reads comes from Isaiah 61. And if you're reading out of a King James or a New King James Version, you'll notice that the way it reads there is, He has anointed me to bring good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives. It adds that passage in there. That's actually in the Septuagint. It's actually in the Isaiah 61. If you look up the Isaiah 61 in your uh, Bible, you'll see that that bind up the brokenhearted is included there. This is the beginning of Jesus' ministry. We're going to spend some time talking about that this week and how he uh, began his ministry and what he proclaims he's going to be doing. And what we find is that from then on in the Gospel of Luke, you see him going about doing these. A hike began there and it was carried to the end, which was the cross, the resurrection, then ultimately his return to heaven and the coming of the Holy Spirit. So we need to start at the beginning and say, what did, what did Jesus come to do? Well, this is the passage he chooses to proclaim his public ministry. He is going to begin by setting captives free, restoring sight to the blind, binding up the brokenhearted, proclaiming the acceptable day of the Lord, year of the Lord's favor. He is to bring the goodness and the wholeness of the society that God intended to earth. He's about trying to make that a reality. Now, he's going to do those works. We're going to see him do all those things. Um, we're going to say at the end, well, did he accomplish that? Well, he certainly inaugurated the kingdom of God. That's what his death and resurrection is all about. But he brought to us a, a way of living, a way of following the trail map uh, on how we are supposed to live. And that's what here in this little area, there's some trail maps here. Uh, when you start your hike here, you can follow these trail maps and the trails go here and there around this area. And so you know where to go, you follow the map. We want to know where we need to go as a church and as individual Christians in this world, we follow the scripture uh, that are laid out. They're like a trail map. They guide us. We follow Jesus' words. How can we be followers of Jesus if we don't know his words? And yet here we go. He says right at the beginning, this is what you need to do. You need to bring the good news to the poor. You need to bind up the brokenhearted. You need to proclaim release to the captives, deliver those that have been bound. You need to restore sight to the blind. You need to do the good things that bring the year of the Lord's favor to fruition. So we need to ask ourselves, in our Christian lives, when people meet us, are they doing that? Do they see uh, that we are bringing good news, that we're bringing any freedom or release that we're restoring any wholeness and completeness, that we're binding anything up, that we're helping people see in uh, truth and God's love? Do we bring the Lord's favor when we come? Not in material things, but in his presence, in his spirit, in his goodness. Those are the questions we need to ask ourselves each and every day. How can I be about bringing the goodness of God, the kindness of God, the love of God, the compassion of God, the freedom and release, the restoration and wholeness, the healing of God into the lives of those around us. As we walk through this passage as we look at Isaiah 61 and also he quotes out of the Isaiah 58 as well. He kind of combines them. It's interesting. I wonder what they thought that day when he actually combines a couple different Isaiah passages together. But this is what we have that he said. He said, this is what I'm going to be doing. And then he starts to invite people to come alongside and do those things with him. 
God invites us to walk the hike with him, to follow the trail that's found in the scriptures, to know what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to bring the good news everywhere we go. We bring it to the poor. We bring it to the brokenhearted and the healing to them and restoration. We bring release to captives and set people that have been imprisoned free. We restore sight to the blind and we proclaim the acceptableness of the year of the Lord's favor. This is the time of God setting everything right through Jesus Christ. If we do that, then we've been faithful to follow the trail and God will lead us each and every day. This week, we're gonna think about those things. We're gonna spend some time drilling down in these scriptures. But we'll simply ask ourselves, what's the hike I'm on? What's my life trajectory? What does my life path look like? Am I following the words and the call of Jesus Christ? Or am I doing something different? I need to follow Jesus. Sometimes that takes me to some uncomfortable places. I think all of us are kind of walking through some uncomfortable places at times right now. Whether it's with COVID, whether it's trying to overcome and address some of the racism issues, whether it's trying to just try to figure out where we fit in today's world because things are changing so much. We follow Jesus and he'll lead us through these things. But we have to follow him. The trail begins here. We follow the map. The map's in the word. Let's take the hike together. Have a good day. May you know the love of God, the salvation of Jesus Christ. May the Holy Spirit abide with you always and hold you safely in his hand. Be safe. Take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye.